This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got two guests from Oxford Mills with me today. I've got Lisa and Brianna Wilberforce. Thanks for joining us today. Good, thanks for having us. Now you are with the Pathfinders, Oxford Mills Pathfinders? Yep. Okay, okay. You've got some a, a lot of events coming up yep. to get to a big event. So let's talk a little bit about uh, maybe your experience, Brianna, with, uh, with Pathfinders. You started as a Spark. Yeah, I started out as a Spark and I went one year of Sparks, two years of Brownies and three years of Guides and now I'm in my first year of Pathfinders and I'm working on my Canadian Cord. It's a big award that you can get as a Pathfinder. And what is that? Um, well, it involves a bunch of community service and volunteer to get to this one big thing, I guess. Yeah, it's an award for the final, the final of Pathfinders. After the three years, it kind of shows that you have the dedication and the hard work that you can put into getting this. It's a prestigious award. Excellent. And you've started working on that started already? Working on that. What sort of things have you been doing? Um, I'm starting with the Community Service Award, which is you need three um, like events that you run for three different topics. So worldwide, eco-friendly, and those stuff. And community. And community service. Wow, wow. And she has to put in 15 hours of work for each project, so. Wow, yeah. that is a lot of yeah. work. Wow, good luck with that. I'm sure you'll do Thank fine. You. I'll think you'll do fine. You're going to be a ranger after this? Yeah. Perfect, perfect. And mom yep. <laughs> has been following the ranks with her as well? Yep, I started with, as a Sparks leader and then um, followed her through one year. We let her go to guides on her own and I stayed with the embers used to be brownies um, and now and then I just decided it was more fun to be <laughs> where she is and see what she's doing so I've now followed her into Pathfinders. And where is it you meet? We meet at, <coughs> we used to meet at the Oxford Mills on Rideau School, public mm -hmm. school and then during COVID we weren't allowed to meet there so we moved to the um, Kempville Snowmobile Club and now we're back at the Oxford Mill School, so. And, and in terms of getting new members, are you always looking for, for a new? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, always. Yeah, always. Excellent. Excellent. Now, you have a big trip coming up, so you've got lots of events because you've got to raise some money for it. Let's talk about the trip itself. You're going out west. Yes, it's very exciting. We're going to, we originally started going, wanting to go to the Calgary Stampede, and um, then it just kind of grew from there. So we're flying into Calgary um, and on the 2nd of July, and we're staying there, staying out in Alberta until the 10th. We're going to the Calgary Stampede um, for two days. Uh, one of those days, we're actually going to be in the parade with the Calgary Pathfinder group that's there. Wow. So that's really exciting. And then we're going to go canoeing at Lake Louise and hiking in Banff and then ending up at the Edmonton Mall for a couple days. Wow. Yeah, so that's it's a great opportunity. Great, and it's for true. the Oxford Mills Pathfinders and Pathfinders Rangers. And Rangers are going. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you got a lot of events. You got to do some yeah. fundraising leading up to that. So we're going to talk about that. And the first is you have an online auction coming up. Yes. So we're running it through Facebook, and we're accepting donations right now uh, until March seventeenth, and then the auction will run from March twentieth to March twenty sixth. And where are you looking for donations to be dropped off? So they can be dropped off at, um, like you can go onto the Facebook page and let us know that you have donations and then we can arrange for a pickup. Excellent. Point. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Nice and easy. Yep. Nice and <laughs> we easy. We like to make it simple. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a week long auction, which is nice. Yes. And, yeah. uh, and that is uh, March 20th to the 26th, but you're looking for donations until March 17th. Yeah. Takes a little while to get this stuff together. It does. And like some people will provide smaller items. And so we're going to try and combine those into a basket or like a bunch of stuff that make sense together right and auction off one big item so that any kind of donation will be any appreciated. donation is appreciated yeah, absolutely for sure. absolutely now let's see you've got lots going on to uh march for the whole month it sounds like march 1st to 31st you're accepting orders to make it so seeds yeah so right now we've started um it's uh seeds that you can purchase online we have they have flowers and they have vegetables and they even have some packages that like for salsa you know, they'll give you the peppers and the tomatoes and the um, spices that go along with that um, in seeds so you can buy them online you can order it online directly or you can order in person so the online um, orders closes on, do you have that there? March. The on the, I, I've got March 1st to the 31st is. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I think it closes maybe on the March 20th and then we can still accept um, the in-person orders on the, up to the 31st. All right, all right. And April 1st, we've got a barbecue and girl guide cook, uh, cookies at Rotary Park. 
Yep, it's the bunny hop. Um, so it's in a, it's in communication with their uh, community that they're doing a kind of an Easter thing, um, and we're gonna have face painting and candy and scavenger hunts. So it should be fun for the kids. Excellent, excellent. Now, does Kempel have a branch of? Um, um they do, yeah. They, do. they have their own um, Girl Guide unit group, so they have a Sparks and a Brownie and a Pathfinder and a guide as well. Okay. Yeah. So it's nice to sometimes get together. Does that happen? They, or do you work together? Not really, no. I mean, it would be nice. Like, you're we so see close. each other in events really, and yes. stuff, yeah, mm -hmm. and we can bounce ideas off of each other, but no, we are separate. There's oh. actually a number of units in the area. There is, hey? Yeah, Spencerville has one and Merrickville has one. I think Smith Falls has one. And I mean, now that COVID's over too. Yes, yes. Yeah. I shouldn't say over, we still have to be careful. We but, still have uh, to be yeah, careful, yeah. 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 Um, for sure, we, uh, when we were in COVID, we did have everything online, so it was really tricky to mm. keep the girls um, engaged, but um, we have a lot of people that stuck through and came back, so it was really nice. Yeah, yeah. How many girls are in your Pathfinders? There's eight. There's seven, I think, seven. right? Seven, and then you. there's the two, well, there's the five Pathfinders and two Rangers. So there's seven. Yeah. All together. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Now we've got on May 13th, uh, a Mom and Me painting session and yep. tea time. Yes. So for Mother's Day, we're doing a Mom and Me paint um, with tea. And then in the evening, it's a ladies night paint. So we're kind of keeping it all together. Excellent, excellent. And May 27th, we've got a huge garage sale, barbecue and family fun day at the Kempel Snowmobile Club. Yep, and we're renting out tables as well. So if people wanted to do a garage sale but not really at their own house, they could rent a table for $20. It's in time with the community um, garage sale. So oh, right. that way people are out doing garage selling that weekend so then they can come by and see our big event. We're going to have bouncy castles and a car wash. <laughs> oh, excellent, excellent. Yeah. Okay, and June 18th, uh, Stampede, the Stampede theme family uh, day. Yep, yeah. so barbecue, ribs, chili, oh, corn. corn, we're doing some line dancing, teaching the kids line dancing and maybe a dance afterwards. Oh. Still working out all the details on that one. But Yeah, I mean, that's a few months away yeah. too. But, <laughs> the uh, uh, oh, the horse rally that day too, so okay. create uh, a team of horses. Yeah, a team of horses and there's a scavenger hunt around the town. Yeah. Around the town? Yep. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. And you've got another one that you don't have all the details yet, but pet portraits? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you can come out and get your pet's uh, photograph taken. And we're still working on the location. And we have a photographer who's willing to donate her time. So that's uh, very helpful. Excellent. Excellent. And you're, you're hoping to raise $20,000 and you're at 7000 now. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have enough to buy the plane tickets. Um, so that's a start, and I think we've gotten the tickets for the Stampede, but correct, so. Okay, okay, so you've got seven Pathfinders going, and yeah. how many leaders? Two leaders. Two leaders are going. Yeah. What a great event. This is going to be such a great yeah. opportunity. I'm sure you're looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah? We yeah. also get three various different types of, like, um, staying in different three, three different types of places, hostels, um, hotels, oh. and camping. Wow. Yeah. So it has a lot of different experiences mixed in. Oh, you must be looking forward to this. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been out west before? Nope, never. No? no? I was really, I really looked forward to it. Oh, so. but have you been in a plane before? I have. You have yeah. been in a plane before. <laughs> yeah. A lot of the girls are really into horses, actually, in our group, so the Stampede is going to be a really big experience for them. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Now, what we're talking about the Stampede, uh, and you said you're going to be getting on a parade, uh, in a parade with other Pathfinders. Is this a thing that Pathfinders does? Like they try and go to the Stampede or is it just you pick? No, it's know? just I think the the one ranger really wanted to do a big trip and she, again, we were all really into horses. So it was, uh, that's what kind of started it all. And then we reached out to um, a couple of the groups that were out there to see if uh, they wanted to get together and kind of show the girls what it's like out there at their unit. and. Whether we could get together and camp with them or not, I'm not sure, but that's sort of something we're looking into. Wow, wow. Sounds like a wonderful opportunity. Now, how do get people get a hold of you? They want to make donations or learn yes, more? Yes, so there's the Oxford Mills Sisterhood of Guiding website, or we also have the Guiding Fundraiser, Fundraiser Alberta 2023. 2023 Fundraiser page. On Facebook. Yeah. yeah, on Facebook. And that's how people get a hold of you, or they make donations? To yeah. Online auction. So that's yeah. your first one, online auction. We're trying to get those in for March 17th. Yes, the donations would be very helpful if you can get those and then 
up till the 17th and then that way we can build our baskets and get the action going. Yeah, well you've got them spread apart but you're going to be busy. We are. Yeah, yeah. you're going to be constantly <laughs> busy. Yes, yeah. for sure, for sure. Well, good luck with everything. It sounds like a wonderful opportunity. You're going to have a great time. Okay. Take lots of pictures. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks for joining us all the way from Oxford Mills today. Thanks I've for got having to us. Brianna and I've got Lisa Wilberforce. Thanks for joining us.